The Russian missile slammed into the ground only meters away from this block of flats. Who knows how many people would have been killed if it had been a direct hit. Another attack as part of Vladimir Putin's so-called special operation in Ukraine, wrecking civilian lives. Even front doors deep inside the building buckle under the force of the blast. Ludmilla has lived here in the eastern town of Dobropilia for more than 50 years. I live here alone. My husband was killed mining coal and my son died. I had gone out for a walk when it hit. I know how lucky I am to be alive, but I have virtually nothing left. How can I live on? I don't know. An old family portrait lies among the rubble. The books her deceased husband used to read stand in the destroyed bookcase. Family members have come to help Ludmilla clear the debris. Olga holds a chunk of shrapnel she found on the sitting room floor. Why did they hit here? This is a residential apartment block. Why? For what? Are there tanks here? Are there soldiers? This is not a battlefield. We have a school here, a kindergarten. Civil defence teams attach polythene sheets to one of Ludmilla's destroyed windows. Other residents throw the remnants of their belongings onto the pavement below. Only seven people suffered minor injuries in the explosion. It's incredible that nobody was killed in this attack, and it comes at a time when, according to the Ukrainian army, Russian forces are preparing for a major offensive, and they are increasingly attacking areas like this one, well behind the front line. Close by, a vast crater scars the woodland where another missile exploded. The Ukrainian military says Russian forces are gradually increasing the intensity of their offensive in eastern Ukraine. Tattered wallpaper hangs in shards from Lumilla's kitchen wall. She says she hopes the Ukrainian army can keep Russian forces back, and she doesn't know what she will do if they come. Charles Stratford Al Jazeera, Dobropilia, Eastern Ukraine.